John Kerry accused of leaking sensitive secrets about Israel to Iran. The foreign minister of that country allegedly saying in leaked audio that Kerry told him about Israel's role in covert military strikes on Iranian targets in Syria. Fox has not confirmed the audio, and Kerry says it never happened. Many in the GOP are demanding to know more. If this is indeed true, if he did this, he needs to resign immediately. Unbelievable. Just so unconscionable. That would be a major uh, foreign policy catastrophe for the country um, if it were revealed to be true. Revealing secret information to one of America's most sworn enemies. If this is true, John Kerry needs to go. So, all right, Dana, I'm trying to figure this out because I, I, don't, I haven't heard any audio. They're talking about 200 attacks. How exactly is 200 attacks covert? <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't everybody pretty much know by now that somebody's attacking you? <laughs> Well, yeah, and this, of course, this is looking back, and um, we, have, okay. we haven't heard the audio yet, but it's very interesting because, um, on the one hand, some Democrats are saying, well, everybody knew this because the Israelis re revealed it. But right. John Kerry said it never happened. Uh -huh. So what, the, both things can't be true, I don't think. Yeah. Uh, maybe they'll try to figure that out. I, I think that you know John Kerry continues to be um, somebody who is a, a tough person for the administration to deal with. Think of the very first day. Remember when he talked about how people that uh, lost their jobs when the Keystone Pipeline got canceled? They basically, he said, go get a solar job. There are no solar jobs. Remember when he took a private plane in order mm -hmm. to go to the climate conference? He clearly wasn't wearing a mask on that one time when they had to try to clean that up. The other day, he said, we're not even going to be able to uh, make a dent in the climate problem, but we're going to spend trillions of dollars to try to get there. I and mean, it goes on and on. I don't know uh, if there's a law of diminishing returns here. Possibly. Yes. Jesse, don't make me defend John Kerry, but could it be that maybe the Iranian dude just was left out of the loop? <laughs> I think this is a classic case of Republicans pouncing, Greg, <laughs> when a Democrat does something objectively treacherous, insane, and uncalled for, and Republicans criticize, but the media says Republicans are pouncing, and then the Democrats ignore the story, and in 48 hours, the media just sweeps it under the rug. I don't think the American people care that much about this story, but I would say that if Pompeo had disclosed classified Israeli military intelligence to the Russians, we would have already had hearings dialed up and potentially a special counsel triggered. But this is just John Kerry looking out for his legacy. He's supposed to be worrying about the temperature, but he's just trying to resuscitate the Iran deal, because that's really the only thing he's proud of in his very long career. You know, Dagan, we went through almost weekly, dozens of stories where Trump was purported to have done something, and we knew that it was 99% of it was all baloney, uh, and then we find out later, and then the story just floats away. Do you, where do you see this one fitting? Is this one of those stories, but now in reverse, or is there some real meat here? Uh, well, the, the, with the Trump stories, the immediate reaction from anybody in the Democratic Party was, Resign! Impeach! Yes. <laughs> so I'm waiting for that reaction. <laughs> we, quite Not quite there from the right. Just a couple of things. I'm going to quote uh, someone I saw on Gutfeld! Exclamation, exclamation point. Larry Kudlow called John Kerry a candidate for the dumbest person in Washington. Yes. So that kind of speaks to who he is. But John Kerry has always had kind of a weird, cozy relationship with Iran and a weird dislike for Israel. I find it odd now he's the climate czar, and that means that he is responsible for essentially toppling our perch as the number one oil producer in the country, making us more reliant on foreign oil from nations that hate us, Iran. We lose our position and our strength in the oil market and on the world stage. So that's what John Kerry's up to now, which benefits Iran. Very interesting. Mm. So, Juan, what do you say about Dagan claiming that John Kerry is the dumbest person in D.C. <laughs> and probably a racist? Because that's what you said. I, I do. You know, I think it's not good that we go after people like that who are doing public service. But, you know, it's fine. I mean, if you want to just have fun with it, go right ahead. Right but I do it. think on this story, I think it's important that uh, you notice that people like Lindsey Graham, you know, strong Republican voice out of South Carolina, says... He doesn't know whether or not we can trust this so-called tape. The State Department saying the timeline is way off. Yes, 
the Iranians knew their targets in Syria were being attacked, but it wasn't clear who was. But in fact, you had some Israeli generals and others before this tape supposedly took uh, was taped, saying yes, uh, it was Israel that was involved. So what you're hearing from the Iranian uh, foreign minister doesn't quite make sense. But I mean, to me, when you talk about you know, oh, is this right wing going after John Kerry? They don't like John Kerry. It just worries me, you know, like last week we had the hamburger story. Oh, Biden's going to take your hamburger. Or, you know, it, it's always Kamala Harris's book is being given to immigrants. These stories are false, but the right wing echo chamber starts going crazy because you can go after a Democrat. Well, I guess they learn from the best. Steal dossier all the way.